What's up guys? Welcome back to our second clip of our Fusion 2 Laguna table saw. So I'm just looking at the manual here. It looks like we have to take the plastic off and do some cleanup before we start the assembly. All right, so now that we got our toolkit opened, the first step is to attach our rear fence support. So we've got our assembly screws all set out, prepared. Let's go ahead and start setting this fence up. Let's go ahead and put the larger rear fence support on. So now's the time to attach our fence hooks. All right, so let's level this table saw because the next step requires us to level the fence. But down here, if you come down here, you'll see that these are wheel lock nuts. So I've got these tightened so that the wheels are locked. And on the other side of the table saw, down here, we've got some pegs that we can adjust to raise and lower the height of our saw. So let's go ahead and do that now. Like this side needs to come down. All right, the next step is to attach the T-slot bolts. to insert the large aluminum rail first. So before we slide the shorter aluminum rail on, we want to slide the switch assembly to this little slot here. Very good. And then we'll connect these two rails together like so. All right, the next step is to install the fence. So as you can see, zero is here. Now go over to the blade. And as you can see, zero is right there. So there's just enough room for the blade to come through. So it looks like we're good. So accessing the blade on this table saw is incredibly easy. To remove the throat plate, you just turn this plastic screw and lift it up. And as you can see, here's our blade. So you just access this down here and can actually remove this guard by pulling that up too. But we're gonna leave that in there. Everything looks good. Lock it back up. Move on to the next step. So we've taken out our riving knife. 
Let's go ahead and insert our riving knife anti-kickback with the dust collection system. So we go down in here, gently push down until it locks in place and go ahead and push this locking it into place. Just double check it, make sure it's in there, it's good. It's locked. And... Uh... All right, so let's put our riving knife in the storage slot. Here we go. Okay, so for the last couple steps, we're going to install the dust collection for the upper saw blade port. To do that, just want to insert your bolt, washer, and nut. Hand tighten it for now. Unroll this pose. <laughs> and go ahead and grab one of these locks. Slide it down there ever so gently. And put some tension on it. Okay. All right, we're down here at the bottom. As you can see, I've already attached my four inch to my main system. Let's go ahead and put this inch and a half. All right, so now that we got the system set up, Let's go ahead and do a sample cut. Ready? Okay. So, we've got some wormy maple here. This is inch and three quarters. We've already processed it. We've gone through the jointer. Got some nice square edges. Let's go ahead and kick this bad boy on. First, let's turn on the vacuum system. Three, two, one. Alright guys, that's it for the assembly video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.